Hello again. Even the most enthusiastic supporters of the idea of global warming are starting to raise their eyebrows about the statements being made lately about the weather in Britain. Not that it's unusual for this country to have damp and chilly springs and lousy summers. That's how weather works, of course. No, it's rather the pronouncements from the Meteorological Office which are causing a little concern. If the Met Office simply said something along the lines of, yes, it's been a cold and wet spring, but that doesn't alter the overall long-term change in the Earth's climate that we are seeing, then that would be perfectly reasonable. They are not, though, saying anything of the kind. Instead, they are attempting to gaslight us by urging everybody in the country to ignore the evidence of their senses. We'll come back to that point in a minute. First, I want to talk about a report in the Metro newspaper yesterday. This is a paper given out free to commuters in London. It's distributed at uh, tube stations and so on. I give a link to the article in the description to this video. We are told that a new computer program in the United States has indicated that in 60 years' time, when most of those watching this video will be dead, London will be enjoying a climate roughly comparable to that which we see now in the south of France. We read that this new research gives a terrifying glimpse into what the weather will look like in 60 years' time. Well, what's so terrifying about London being as warm as the south of France? I don't get it. This sentence is followed by this statement. This summer has already seen countries in Europe battling extreme wildfires. Well, that's right. But why is that exactly? Is this uncontrollable global warming in action, with the earth catching fire and seems reminiscent of a 1950s horror film about the end of the world? What's causing those fires? Last month, Athens was menaced by a series of wildfires, uh, which started every 10 minutes in the area near the city. Let me quote from a newspaper report, which I give a link in the description to this video. The Greek authorities are investigating whether wildfires that threatened to engulf Athens were sparked by a single arsonist. Civil Protection Minister Vasilis Kikilialis said officials verified indications that the fire near Athens was a result of arson as well as extreme weather conditions. These were fires which were beginning every 10 minutes at one point. Arson you can have a motive for some pointless crime. The Russians are widely believed to be using arson in Europe as a means of waging covert war against uh, those countries supporting Ukraine, like this country. Earlier this year, a warehouse in East London was gutted by fire and some men were charged in April under the new National Security Act 2023. The arson was treated, in effect, as an act of war. Three of them are foreigners, and they are alleged to be connected with men of the Wagner Group and have carried out the arson attack in support of Russia. These arson attacks are happening right now across Europe, and also, as I say, in this country. They're not connected with climate change, so I give a link to the London arson case in the description to this video. Returning now to what I said about gaslighting, after the truly awful spring which we had, in which April and May were cold and damp and many people had the central heating on and were wearing heavy coats when they were going out, the Met Office announced that May had been the hottest ever in this country since records began in 1884. This was so obviously untrue that many people were left gaping open-mouthed at the cheek of the thing. June was so terrible that it became known colloquially as January because of its supposed resemblance to that winter month. A few days ago, the Met Office said that there was actually more sunshine in June than usual for the time of year. 
Remembering how gloomy and cold the month had actually been, many people found this claim, uh, I'd say a little dubious, a lot of people simply didn't believe it. It seems that the worst case scenario with which we in this country are being menaced is that the climate might possibly become more like that of southern Europe, which would perhaps not be a disaster. Why our current weather, which any of body watching this video can see by looking out of the window, should be seen as preferable to this is an interesting point which has never been fully explained.